Good evening. I am hereby calling to order the February 26, 2018 meeting at the Mayfield Heights City Council. Welcome, everybody. Lisa, may I have a roll call, please? Mr. Balistria. Present. Mr. Dijon. Here. Mrs. Finney. Here. Mr. Mano. Here. Mrs. Savetta. Mrs. Snyder. Here. Mrs. Dressy. Here. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. going to have quite a lengthy meeting tonight so let's get going first on our agenda is approval of the minutes from our last meeting held on February 12th I trust everyone had time to read them over is our motion to approve the minutes from the regular council meeting moved, moved by Mr. Balistria second seconded by Mrs. Sabata are there any suggested changes amendments or deletions to the minutes since there are no suggested amendments, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 I'll abstain. I was absent from the meeting. Anyone opposed? Okay, the minutes are approved as written. Next on the agenda are correspondence and announcements. Does any member of council have any correspondence or announcements? I just wanted to real quick mention the taste of Italy dinner we had the other night. I'm sure somebody will talk a little bit more about it but it was such a wonderful dinner and the only complaint was everybody was so full afterwards they couldn't move so I want to thank Parks and Rec and everybody that cooked Mr. Fanaro, Mr. Grano, Mr. Papanetti and all the uh, hard-working people it was such a lovely event anybody else have anything to add if not then we will turn to officers starting with the mayor thank you madam president good evening everyone um, I, as you said, uh, stated, this is a long agenda, so I will keep my report short. I am pleased to announce uh, the fire department added a new firefighter uh, paramedic. Uh, I had the pleasure of swearing in Ben Freeman last week. Uh, as you know, two members of the department retired last month. Uh, we welcome Ben to our city. Um, also last week, I was honored to be invited to speak at uh, an urban planning class at Case Western Reserve. Myself, along with Mayor Lycan of Shaker Heights, addressed student questions on city issues such as urban sprawl, land use, and financial challenges suburban cities face. Uh, it was a great discussion with some very bright kids. Um, Madam President stole my taste of Italy, so I'll move on from that. And, uh, and lastly, we want to welcome a new business uh, to our city. Heidi's This and That opens its opened its doors on February 14th. They are located at 5860 Mayfield Road and are selling handmade clothing, jewelry, artwork, and other one-of-a-kind items. Uh, I'm always pleased to see new businesses come to our city. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Mayor. Are there any questions for the Mayor? Seeing none, Mr. Murphy? Uh, thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, my report would consist of just a, a quick update. Uh, at the last meeting, Mr. DeJohn had requested me to contact the Ethics Commission regarding um, uh, a matter that involved the mayor and uh, Malamud Communications. Um, I did that, and the Ethics Commission indicated that they would not issue an advisory opinion. Um, Mr. DeJohn had requested that I get an opinion from the Ethics Commission regarding um, hiring Malamud Communications they indicated they would not since um, their advisory opinions are limited to only those individuals who are considering taking action. Uh, so I reported that back to Mr. DeJohn and then he asked how that was different from Mrs. Snyder last year and um, I indicated that uh, it was different because Mrs. Snyder was the individual considering taking the action and she had already contacted the Ethics Commission here. Uh, Mr. John was requesting the advisory opinion and he was not the one who was considering taking the action so I reported that once again they would not issue an advisory opinion. Um, Mr. DeJohn finally asked could he have that in writing and I said it would not be in writing. Um, they told me they would not issue an advisory opinion and, and they would not so um, 
that's where we, we are on, on that. And that's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Are there any questions for Mr. Murphy? If not, Director of Finance, Mr. Tribby. Now, since we have such a long agenda, I will have no report in the interest of moving things along. Thank you, Mr. Tribby. Any questions for Mr. Tribby? Seeing none, next on our agenda, reports of committees, commissions, and boards. We'll start with the building committee, Mrs. Snyder. Thank you, Madam Chair. The building co committee has not met, so I have no report. Thank you, Mrs. Snyder. Are there any questions for Mrs. Snyder? Next is finance and audit, audit committee, Mrs. Sabetta. Thank you, Madam President. The finance and audit committee did meet on February 13th a discussion of collective bargaining agreements which went into executive session um, according with the section 121.22 of the Ohio Revised Code. Also the discussion of revenue enhancement which was Malamed communication, his new presentation and the request at 615 today of the um, Committee of the Whole. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Mrs. Sabetta. Are there any questions for Mrs. Sabetta? Seeing none, we'll move on to Legislative Committee. Mrs. Tressy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I did plan and speak with Lisa about coordinating a meeting uh, regarding indigent decedents. Um, I know that that had been on the agenda since um, the end of last year, and um, Mr. Murphy, um, I guess, canceled that meeting. He uh, redid the ordinance, or I should say he has taken the ordinance and taken it apart so that the city does not need an ordinance now for indigent decedents. Um, apparently, Mr. Dijon um, provided some disposal companies um, at the rate of four, $550, I believe it is, um, in order to take care of the remains of any indigent decedents that the city of Mayfield Heights um, gets and uh, we will no longer be sending any of the um, indigents to DeSeco Funeral Home. I know we spent 64, over $6,400 last year authorizing the city to pay DeSeco Funeral Home for the indigent bodies that came um, to the city. So now we'll be spending $550, I believe it is, um, for the one disposal company. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Mrs. Teresi. Is there any questions for Mr. Teresi, Mayor? Yes, I, I, I'm sorry, I have to correct the record. You did not pay to Seco Funeral Home $6,400 last year. That was over several years at two other funeral homes also. I so I would start. like that corrected, please, for the record. Thank you, Mayor. Any further questions for Mrs. Teresi? Seeing none, Public Works and Service Committee, Mr. Balistria. Committee did not meet, and so I have no report. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bellstria. Any questions for Mr. Bellstria? <clears throat> Parks and Recreation, Mr. Mano. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, Mayfield Heights Recreation. City Park Pavilion rentals open on Thursday, March 1st for Mayfield Heights residents. Oakville Park Pavilion is under construction. We anticipate the pavilion will be usable in July of 2018. The rental fee is $50 per pavilion per date. Teen Adventure Camp registration opens to school district residents this Thursday, March 1st. Non-residents may register starting March 19th. Registration can be done by mail, email, in person at City Hall in the Recreation Department from 8.30 to 4.30, Monday through Friday, or by calling us at 440-442-2627. Bunny Brunch will be Saturday, March 24th. Watch the Recreation Facebook page and website for more details on times. Tickets are $7 per person. Tickets go on sale Wednesday, February 28th. Registration is now open for the following programs. Spring session of first and 10 flag football, ages five to 10 years old. Spring training baseball softball, uh, ages five to 10 year olds. The spring summer recreation brochure with all the spring and summer programs and activities will be mailed to homes in the next two weeks. For, for 
more information on, on any of the above programs, call 440-442-2627 or visit the website. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Mano. Are there any questions for Mr. Mano? Seeing none, we'll move on to safety and transportation. Mr. DeJohn. Thank you, Madam President. Just want to remind everybody the police department says see it, hear it, and report it, and you can help them foil a lot of crimes. Thank you. That concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. DeJohn. Any questions for Mr. DeJohn? Uh, Board of Zoning Appeals, Mrs. Sabetta. Thank you, Madam President. The Board of Zoning Appeals did meet on February 13th. There were two um, applicants on the agenda. Tonight on the City Council agenda, there are several items that we can address when they come up. I do see that one of the applicants is here. That concludes my report. Thank you, Mrs. Sabetta. Are there any questions for Mrs. Sabetta? Okay, seeing none, we'll go to Planning Commission, Mr. Balestria. Thank you, Madam Chairman. The Planning Commission met on February the 19th. Uh, everyone was copied on the minutes. Uh, first item that was discussed was the Mayfield Heights Senior Living. Uh, the amending of the zone map and consolidation is on the agenda this evening. Uh, BZA approved the variances, and there will be a motion uh, tonight to approve the final site plan as well. Uh, number two also on our agenda was the motion to approve a preliminary site plan for the Muska properties at 6262 Mayfield Road. Uh, and number three uh, also discussed and finalized was Ordinance 2017-24 regarding the use of miracle, uh, medical marijuana in the City of Mayfield Heights. I am requesting Madam Chairman that we uh, remove from the table this evening uh, this ordinance uh, to be discussed and uh, finalized. The Planning Commission recommendations are in the minutes. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. Balestria. Are there any questions for Mr. Balestria? Seeing none, we are going to come to the public portion. We now come to the public portion of the meeting. Pursuant to city code, each person will be allotted five minutes to speak, with the maximum 30 minutes allotted for the entire public portion. Although it is not a time for public debate, this is your opportunity to address council with your concerns. Please know there are no personal attacks or comments will be allowed. Also, if you're here in connection with an agenda item, this is your opportunity to address council. If you would like to be heard this evening, please raise your hand and be recognized. Then approach the podium and state your name and address for the record. It is now 718. I will open up the public portion. Sir. Good evening. My name is uh, Michael DeJohn. I own a home at 1668 Lander Road here in Mayfield Heights. I also work here in Mayfield Heights and a lifelong born and raised here. Um, <clears throat> what caught my attention, I, I did watch the uh, last council meeting and had a chance to look at the discussion about the increase in, uh, in the uh, read attacks here in the city and know that there's some discussion that's going to be going on here uh, about that and uh, uh, it's part of trying to prepare to be talk a little intelligently about what's going on I did request through Mr. Tribby and ultimately to uh, exchange emails from Mr. Murphy uh, information just on the uh, salaries and expenses for last year uh, uh, for employees here in the city and primarily uh, to try to get an idea of what's being done to try to hold down costs and I know Mr. Tribby's been here a long time uh, has done a great job this city I don't think is running a deficit I don't think it uh, doesn't have cash in the bank uh, because there are a lot of employees that don't live in the city uh, and live outside the city, adding a half a percent to the read tax is actually an attack on businesses because you're now increasing those costs, uh, particularly uh, you look at Highland Heights, it has 2%, 2% read tax. Uh, Mayfield Heights has always been friendly to businesses by being at 1% and giving a credit for them if they work outside. Um, I know the mayor uh, stated at the last meeting, and mayor, you can correct me if, I'm, if I didn't get this correct, but 70% uh, of, the, of the residents will see a decrease 
or no increase in their taxes. Well, that may or may not be the case unless I'm, I don't get the math right. And again, not understanding um, where we are total budget wise with the city, it just appears to me that this council, this city has always been very friendly to not only its residents, but to the people that work in this city and having uh, a 1% tax um, is fair and attractive to wanting to have a business here. And uh, I just think that uh, uh, this council should be thinking about that. And uh, uh, as you move forward, obviously this will go to a vote of the, of the people. And I assume the people will have their say I came in a little later. Uh, I know there was some discussion here about video conferencing and town halls uh, with an older city. And of the four in the Mayfield District, this is the oldest of those cities. Uh, I think it's going to be tough to get out. So it's going to be a door to door like we did years ago to get information out. Um, but uh, I'm prepared uh, to not only talk to the council and uh, be at these meetings, but to help people understand that raising this half a percent, putting it in the general fund and using it uh, where we don't know what's gonna go, as a taxpayer, I'm a little concerned. I'm always concerned uh, when government is taking more money and not knowing what's gonna be done with it. So uh, I thank you for your time. Thank you. Anybody else like to be heard this evening? Seeing none, I will close the public portion at 7.22. The following resolutions all pertain to legislation items for proposed development at 6200 Landraven Drive by CA Senior Living Holdings, LLC. So we're gonna go ahead and take these all in order if no one has any objections. We will begin with ordinance 2018-5, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Ordinance number 2018-5, an ordinance amending the zone map of the city of Mayfield Heights, Ohio, says the rezone permanent parcel numbers 863 8632060009, 863-26-009, 863-27-008, 863-27-009, 863-27-010. 863-27-011-863-28-0017-863-28-0008-and-863-28-0009-6200 Lander Haven Drive from the current U2A1 Planned Unit Development District to U3C senior citizen apartments with life care facilities district in the city of Mayfield Heights. Third reading. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Can I have a motion to approve, please? So moved. Moved by Mr. Balistria. Second. Second by Mrs. Sabetta. Discussion? I think we've uh, talked about this quite a bit. It's been through um, BZA and planning. So is there anything further we want to add? Mr. Just, John? Thank you, Madam President. I'd just like to ask Mr. Balistria about this lot uh, that they're discussing that's on this property or next to this property. Do you know anything about that? Uh, I just other with what was gathered at the, uh, uh, you know, from the, uh, the minutes. Um, and I just had a, a sidebar here with, with Mr. Mano. If the council chooses, this this is not in, in, with regards to what's before us right now. This is just to, to rezone. But in the, in the plan itself, if we want to take a look at making that uh, piece of property remain wooded in perpetuity, we could certainly, as a council, add a motion uh, to amend uh, and then approve it that way. So if that's okay, that's the east lot. But what that's about east lot. Um, Mr. Diamond's lot on the west side, I believe that is. Uh, I'm not sure which, what you're referring to. 
the address is 6146. And what, and what was the, what was the question with regards to that lot? That, that lot is it is it on the east side of the retention basin, is that correct? As far as I know it is, yes. I don't think we're voting on that lot this evening though. We're just talking about these right here. Permanent parcels that aren't included on here. I don't think that's part of this. No, it's not, but it shouldn't it be considered as a whole since uh, we had Mr. Diamond come before council? Mayor? What are you asking, Mr. Oh, John? Uh, I'm asking, uh, shouldn't we investigate this and find out if CA Living uh, you know, wants this lot or they don't want this lot? Um, the applicant, I guess what Mr. The Diamond, applicant is here. We could yeah, ask him. Yeah, because I, the way I understand it is, uh, is if, if this facility is built, that lot is unbuildable and deemed useless. Is, is that my understanding that right? Uh, would the applicant like to come up? Uh, is that someone here from Senior Living Holding? Yeah. Could you please state your name and address for the record? Hi, good evening everyone. I'm Chris Russ with CA Senior Living Holdings from 6076 uh, Summerlin Place, Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, yes, at this time, Show a site plan that way. Adjacent lot. Um, at this point, you know we've we've got a, a fully baked design at this point um, uh, that fits the property. Um, you know I, we're willing to discuss you know something with them. We have been open and had multiple community, community meetings and, and uh, communication out there that this project is moving forward. Um, at this point, uh, I know they have a, a position that they're making, but um, I'm not sure that. Not, it's 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 not going to be deemed undeveloped. There's an existing house on it already right now. Um, it's not a, an empty piece of land that someone's looking to, to do something with it that I'm aware of. So uh, at this point, you know, I think we have the presentation in front of you. What we're, what we're looking for. Thank you. Appreciate it. Madam President. Mr. Mayor. It, the detention basin is to the east. It's between the house and the development, correct? That is correct. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, keep um, Mrs. Snyder. Mr. Navar was showing Mr. Dijon a picture of the, the plot over here. Can you point out where the house is on you? Point out that's exactly what I was going to ask. I'm sorry, west side. Keep west saying east. <laughs> Thank you. Mrs. Snyder, did you have any questions? No, I just asked. Oh. Any other questions? Okay, roll call, Lisa. Mr. Mano. Mr. Balistria. Yes. Mr. Dijon. Uh, no. Mrs. Sabetta. Yes. Mrs. Tressy. No. <clears throat> Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Four to three vote. Four to three vote. Does that mean it passes? Okay, good. No, we, I, sometimes you have to have a majority. No, okay. Motion stands approved. Thank you, sir. Uh, we'll call you up if there's any other questions. You might want to stay up right front. Here. Okay, thank <laughs> you. Next on our agenda is Resolution 2018 6. Mr. Murphy. <clears throat> thank you, Madam Chairman. Resolution 2018-6, a resolution approving a lot consolidation of Cuyahoga County permanent parcel numbers 863-26-008, 863-26-008, 863-26-008, 863-26-008, 863-26-008, 863-26-008, 863-26-008, 863-26-008, 863-26-008, 863-26-008, 863-26-008, 863-26-008, 863-26-008,
so as to create one parcel for the development of a new independent assisted memory care senior living facility. First reading. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Is there a motion to suspend the rules? Moved. Moved by Mr. Balistria. Second. Seconded by Mrs. Sabata. Roll call on the motion to suspend. Mr. DeJohn? No. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mrs. Tressy? Yes. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mr. Mano? No. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Spinney? Yes. Is there a motion to approve? There's no suspension. No suspension. Oh, no suspension. Five to two. Oh. Okay, I'll be placed on first reading. Next is Ordinance 2018-8, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Resolution 2018-7. A resolution confirming the action of the Board of Zoning Appeals of the City of Mayfield Heights in granting to Matt Buma on behalf of CA Liv Senior Living Holdings, LLC, 6200 Landerhaven Drive, a variance to reduce the minimum lot area of the development from 12 acres to 11.7 acres. And that is Cuyahoga County Permanent Parcel Numbers 863-26-008. 863 8632760008 8632760008 8632760009 8632760010 8632760112 8632760011 8632760012 8632820008 First reading. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Is there a motion to suspend the rules? Moved. Moved by Mrs. Sabata, seconded by Mrs. Snyder. Roll call on the motion to suspend. Mrs. Tressy? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. <coughs> Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Mano? No. <clears throat> Mr. Dijon? No. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mrs. Spinney? Yes. This will go on first reading also. Um, Mr. Tribby, did you have something you wanted to say? Okay, next we will move on to ordinance number 2018-9, Mr. Murphy. Uh, that's eight. Oh, sorry, eight. You're going too fast. <coughs> resolution 2018-8, a resolution confirming the action of the Board of Zoning Appeals of the City of Mayfield Heights in granting to Matt Boom on behalf of CA Senior Living Holdings, LLC, 62. 00 Landerhaven Drive, a variance to increase the maximum building coverage from 15% to 29% to permit lower buildings to be constructed. Cuyahoga County Permanent Parcel Numbers 863 8632060008, 863-26-009, 863-27-007, 863-27-008, 863-27-009, 863-27-010, 863-27-011, 863-27-012, 863-28-007, 863-28-007, 863-28-007, 
863-28-008, First reading. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Is there a motion to suspend the rules? Moved. Moved by Mr. Balistria. Second. Seconded by Mrs. Sabata. Roll call on the motion to suspend. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mrs. Teresi? <clears throat> Excuse me, yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mr. Tijan? No. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Mano? No. Mrs. Finney? Yes. <clears throat> Let's also go on first reading. Next is ordinance number 2018-9, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Resolution 2018-9. A resolution confirming the action of the Board of Zoning Appeals of the City of Mayfield Heights in granting to Matt Buma on behalf of CA Senior Living Holdings, LLC, 6200 Landerhaven Drive, a variance to reduce the building setback from 150 feet to 120 feet. Belga County Permanent Parcel Numbers 863-26-008, 863-26-008, Eight six three dash twenty seven dash zero zero seven eight six three dash twenty seven dash zero zero eight eight six three dash twenty seven dash zero zero nine eight six three dash twenty seven dash zero one zero eight six three dash twenty seven dash zero one one eight six three dash twenty seven dash zero one two eight six three dash twenty eight dash zero zero seven eight six three dash twenty eight dash zero zero eight eight six three dash twenty eight dash zero zero nine first reading thank you mr murphy um i also have a note that they wanted it 109 feet not 120 feet uh the variance that was requested and has been um, recommended by the bza is 120 Okay, thank you. Now, um, it's my understanding that this evening the applicant is going to request that that variance be amended. Um, exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay. No. Thank you. Can I have a motion to suspend the rules? Moved. Moved by Mr. Sabata, seconded by Mr. Snyder. Um, roll call on the motion to suspend. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. DeJohn? No. Mr. Mano? No. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Tressy? No. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Let's also go on first reading. Madam President, if I can. Mayor? I would, uh, you can make that uh, presentation for the modification at the time that's actually voted on after the third reading, I would say. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next is Ordinance 2018-10, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. <clears throat> resolution number 2018-10, a resolution confirming the action of the Board of Zoning Appeals of the City of Mayfield Heights in granting to Matt Buma on behalf of CA Senior Living Holdings, LLC, 6200 Landerhaven Drive, variance to eliminate the requirement for a six-foot masonry buffer wall on the westerly 130 feet of the south property line as well as on the west property line in order to preserve mature existing vegetation already acting as a buffer. Cuyahoga County permanent parcel numbers 863-26-008, 863-26-009, 863-26-010, 863-26-011, 863-26-012, 863-27-009, 863-27-009, 863-27-011, 863-27-011, 863-27-012, 863-27-018, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-28-008, 863-
Second. Second. Seconded by Mrs. Sabetta. Roll call on the motion to suspend. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mr. Mano? No. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mrs. Tressy? No. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. DeJohn? No. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Ordinance 2018-10 will be placed on first reading. Next is Ordinance 2018-11, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Resolution number 2018-11, a resolution confirming the action of the Board of Zoning Appeals of the City of Mayfield Heights in granting the Matt Buma on behalf of CA Senior Living Holdings, LLC, 6200 Landerhaven Drive, a variance to eliminate the requirement for a six-foot masonry buffer wall on the easterly 170 feet of the south property line in order to preserve mature existing vegetation already acting as a buffer. Calgary County permanent parcel numbers First reading. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Do I have a motion to suspend the rules? So moved. Moved by Mrs. Sabata. Second. Seconded by Mr. Balistria. Roll call on the motion to suspend. Mr. Mano? No. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mr. Dijon? No. Mrs. Sabata? Yes. Mrs. Teresi? No. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Ordinance 2018-11 will be placed on first reading. Next is the motion. Madam Ms. Chairman, may I make a comment, please? Mrs. Sabetta, please. Thank you. Since we did have a resident come up and speak on this, um, I would like him to know that in this 2018-11 uh, that the Section 3 Council further determines that this variance shall be terminated if any part of the 1.5 acre, that's the park acre area, as shown on the drawing submitted at the Board of Zoning Appeals meeting is developed. Oh, good. Also, all of the other variances were granted with contingencies on rezoning the parcels as requested also upon the consolidation of the parcels as requested and also upon approval of the site plan. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sabata. Unfortunately, we can't vote on anything today if we don't suspend the rules, so we will move forward. Motion, Mr. Murphy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Motion to confirm the decision of the Planning Commission approving a final site plan for a new independent assisted memory care senior living facility located at 6200 Landerhaven Drive, contingent on council modifying the front setback variance to include the cottages or granting a new setback variance and the rezoning. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Do I have a motion to approve? Moved. Moved by Mr. Balistria, seconded by Mrs. Snyder. Uh, is there any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Oh, can we go for a roll call, please? Mr. DeJohn? No. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mrs. Tressy? No. <clears throat> Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mr. Mano? No. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. It's four to three. Four to three. So the motion will be approved. Okay, next a resolution. The first resolution is 2018-4, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Resolution 2018-4, a resolution authorizing all actions necessary 
to accept Northeast Ohio Public Energy Council, NOPEC, energized community grants and declaring an emergency. Second reading. Okay, do I have a motion to suspend? Moved by Mr. Balestria, seconded by Mrs. Sabata. Roll call on the motion to suspend. Mrs. Teresi? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Manoff? No. Mr. DeJohn? No. <clears throat> Mr. Balestria? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Five to two votes. So this means this will go on third reading. Next is resolution. Madam President. Mr. DeJohn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Murphy, if I'm uh, right, we're allowed to have discussion even though it's on readings. Is that correct? No. no. We cannot. Oh, I thought we were. I, you, I thought you had changed you, that. If council determines to discuss, then yes, you can. So can I make that a motion to discuss? Okay, Mr. DeJohn makes a motion I'll to second discuss. It. Second. Can I have a roll call, please? We change the oh, rules every two weeks. Well, we go by Robert's rules, which previously we had not. Um, go ahead, Mr. I, I did not think you can have a discussion when the uh, item was tabled. I mean, um, I'm reading. I don't Obama. think you can have a discussion. Yes, we have. You can. We okay, can. Mr. DeJohn. So Mr. Murphy said we can have yes. a discussion. That's what I thought. I didn't think you could. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, can somebody explain this to me? Exactly, exactly what this is because I don't think it's been fully explained to us. Madam President. Please, Mayor. This is a grant uh, from NOPEC to help us with our energy uh, conservation. They will help uh, in uh, with um, Gardner will determine what, um, how these funds will be spent to help the city uh, save money. And I guess the question I have is, is we employ Gardner to do a full study of all of our HVA systems throughout the city. So now why are we going back again to do this again and, and, and using grant money to do that? We're enhancing what Gardner is doing by, by using money that is not ours, that is NOPEC's money. I, I understand that, but I don't like to be wasteful. Um, what did Gardner find the last time? I mean, did they save us any en energy? Uh, I mean, did they did they see some units that, that were old and antiquated that need to be replaced? I mean, what, what, what exactly happened with Gardner? Gardner has saved us money in our uh, in our cost sharing, uh, not cost sharing, in our, uh, what's that program called? Uh, it's cost sharing. Um, I think Mr. But Joe, Fenaro, Joe, yeah. Joe wants to explain it uh, better. Let me understand your question first, Mr. John. Start, start over with your question exactly. Okay, we approved Gardner to study all of our HVA systems and all of our energy costs. I think last year, maybe the year before, it was a three-year study, and they were supposed to, any, any savings that we got from this program, they were supposed to give them back to the city. So, so I haven't I haven't seen anything that's been brought to the council's attention that hey we saved you, you know five thousand dollars you know in 2015 and we're giving this back to you. So what you approved was shared savings with Gardner. So whatever we saved, we split. Their first year they got 75 percent, we got 25, and it reduced that's, the effort that's correct. all the way down. That's what you approved. What this is is a grant to enhance energy savings throughout the city. For the residents, however, we decide to use it. That's what this no pack grant is. So, so, what are you thinking to use it on? We can't move forward to even apply for the grant yet until you pass this resolution. This resolution has to be in place before we could apply for the grant. Mr. Mano? When I read the grant um, wording that we got here, First of all, my personal opinion is NOPEX is a scam. The deal is that they choose what project that that money can be used for. If you read that, we don't have the choice. They give us the choice. This is the camel's nose under the tent. That's all I have to say. 
Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fanaro. I could, I could add to Mr. Mano that there was three projects that we have identified, and LPEC is on board with those three projects. Thank you. Are they a secret, the projects? Um, next, next is resolution 2018-12, Mr. Murphy. Resolution 2018-12, a resolution confirming the action of the Board of Zoning Appeals of the City of Mayfield Heights in denying to Marvin Wright, 1718 Byron Drive, a variance to allow a commercial vehicle to be parked into the driveway at 1718 Byron Drive, Cuyahoga County Permanent Parcel Number 861-21-105. First reading. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Is there a motion to suspend the rules? So moved. Moved by Mrs. Sabata, seconded by Mrs. Snyder. Roll call on the motion to suspend. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mrs. Teresi? Yes. Mrs. Sabata? Yes. Mr. DeJan? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Is there a motion to approve? Moved by Mr. Balistria, seconded by Mrs. Snyder. Discussion, Mrs. Sabata? Yes, this um, was a 2-2 vote. The motion was to modify the conditions um, covering the logo on the truck and the removing of the ladders from the hood of the truck. And the motion failed. A couple of us felt that he had a place to park the truck. The applicant is not here. Thank you, Mrs. Sabetta. Any questions? Yes, Mr. DeJohn? I happen to be at that BZA meeting. Um, the applicant uh, uh, has a wife who works or doesn't work, is at home. They only have this one vehicle as her vehicle, if I believe that's right. That's what he told us. And um, that, uh, you know, he. he was in agreement with taking the ladders off the truck, trying to get the van, and I believe it's a van, in his garage, and putting signs over the, uh, the outside to uh, block the logo. So, um, and that was a two to two vote is the way I saw it. And you know, Mrs. Sabetta, tell me if I'm wrong with any of my assessment of that. Yes, the truck does not fit in the garage, even with the ladders off. Thank you. That was the hard part. Oh, and that's not the way I understood it, but that's... That, that is it. Thank you. Any other questions? Roll call, please. Mrs. Snyder? No. Mr. DeJohn? Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Teresi? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. That, mo or that resolution is stands approved. Madam President, if I could. <clears throat> Mayor? Um, just to, I, I think there needs to be um, some type of discussion on commercial vehicles in this city. Because if you go around, um, there are a multitude of them and the way we're handling them right now, I don't believe is a fair or equitable um, arrangement for anyone in the city. Our, our city is full of blue collar, um, hardworking people who sometimes are allowed to bring a, a work vehicle home. So I'm wondering if we can get together and form some kind of um, conditions that would allow them to bring the, the vehicle home, such as maybe size or um, or makeup of, of the, um, uh, the vehicle itself, uh, whether there's advertising on it or not, um, but to come up with some kind of compromise for our residents, because I know there's tons of them out there who do uh, bring work trucks home as a, as a uh, it's a perk, and they're hardworking people, and a lot of them wouldn't be able to get uh, where they are today without that ability so I, I think I was hoping maybe we can get some kind of discussion and uh, and discuss this further Madam thank Chairman. you mayor um, I know one of the things that we had talked about way back when was 
trying to get more and more people to get those magnetics on them because now they're so good they look like they're part of the writing and then they could take them off at night but I don't think we ever put anything in the building codes. Mr. Mano. This situation with commercial vehicles has been going on for 25 years in this city. We've had the ordinance, we enforced the ordinance. People knew when they moved here that if they had a commercial vehicle, it had to be garaged or they couldn't park it in their driveway. That's a long, long time ago. But what's happened is over the years, we've gotten very lax in the rules and we've allowed more and more people to just do it and there's been no consequence and so on. And that's why we have tons of trucks parked in the city. That doesn't disparage anybody's work ethic or that they're blue collar or anything else. I have trucks. I've had trucks for 30 years, built a garage to put them in. I mean, there's always a will or a way to do it. The problem with this ordinance is the close proximity of all these homes in this city. Why should any resident be subjected to have to look at a truck parked in somebody's driveway next door? That shouldn't be. And that's why the ordinance was created in the first place. Maybe what we need to do is to just get back to enforcing the ordinance as written or take it off the books and then just let it be wide open. But there's, there's, there's a reason that it was done and the laxity of the enforcement of the rules is what's caused this proliferation of trucks and vans all over the city. Thank you, Mr. Mano. Anyone else? Mrs. Sabetta. Thank you. Um, the applicant did say, and this was the second time that the Board of Zoning um, has seen this, that the reason they were there is they were cited. And that's why they have come. And for everyone that's been cited, how many have not been? Thank you. I did I have a roll call, please, Lisa? Oh, I did. did it. Oh, did it. then I guess next is resolution 2018-13, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam discussion. Chairman. Um, resolution 2018-13, a resolution authorizing the mayor to execute a memorandum of understanding on behalf of the city with the Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District and declaring an emergency. First reading. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Is there a motion to suspend the rolls? Move. Moved by Mr. Balestria. Do we have a second? We have a second, Mrs. Snyder. Roll call on the motion to suspend. <coughs> Mrs. Sabetta. We're suspending the rules. Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mr. Bellastria? Yes. Mrs. Tressy? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. DeJohn? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Is there a motion to approve? Moved by Mrs. Snyder. Second. Seconded by Mrs. Sabato. Is there any discussion? Yes. Mr. DeJohn? Mr. Fennaro, can you come up, please? Or Mr. Gerson, that, that's better, Mr. Gerson. Dan Gerson, City Engineer, Mayfield Heights. Uh, Yes, thank you, Mr. Gerson. Um, I, I, I have a couple questions. The first question, is this a consultant? Is that all they're doing is consulting work and the city's doing the rest of the work? That's what it appears no, to the, me. Uh, so, so what they do is they, uh, soil and water does this for a number of communities throughout Cuyahoga County. Um, some they do, some they don't. Basically what they do is they, when an applicant comes in for a commercial site plan or a residential site plan, Review the soil and water uh, conservation plans. Um, I do that as a kind of a courtesy. I do look at it, but they kind of take the bulk of the work from that. And then what they do is they do uh, 
inspection during construction and they also if there's any violations during construction they would issue letters to the applicant saying hey you need to fix this you need to fix that and my experience has been as they do a very good job um, if we did not have them do that that would either fall on myself or fall on your building department and you'd be paying either myself or my firm uh, that money to do that um, I don't really have a good accurate number of how many hours they spend but I would say based on what I've seen they do a pretty good job with the money spent so I think this is an increase uh, based on past years and I think what they base that on is how many site plans they do per year what time they spend how many times they go out to a site so um, like I said I, I would support them I use them a lot especially you guys use Mayfield Heights and other city I work with they don't do work but that falls on me and so it's whether you pay DPD or whether you pay soil and water or if you had a whole department that would do that you would pay them thank you yeah I, I have another question so so it says in here um, the city will designate someone to serve as a city liaison for the storm water pollution prevention program so I take it that's you the, the city will recognize the environment environmental and economic functions of natural vegetation open spaces such as wetlands Da, 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 da. So that's again you, right? Um, the city will utilize the Cuyahoga County SWCD's technical assistance, including plan reviews, projects. So they're going to give you some aids to still review this stuff. So it, it well, just they, appears to me. So they, it, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. But going back to the reviews, they, they do they do do the reviews and they issue us. Um, they see throw through the building department and myself. We get a report on every site plan that goes for the city basically if there's any deficiencies in wetlands so permits if they're trying to if they're going through wetlands they do a very good job on that um, you know for catch basin installs to make sure that you're not um, completing the streams they do a good job so they they do all that again I, I do a cursory review as part of my site plan review but theirs is much more thorough so I basically would look at their comments and make sure I agree with them but ultimately we could once we see them, if there's a question, we could question them on that and they could go back, but it's a pretty good program, so yeah, go ahead. And, and, Thank you, Mr. Gerson. And, and um, Mr. You, Dijon, you need to be, be recognized. You've spoken. Is there anyone else who'd like to speak? This is Finney. I don't think that's your job to shut down questioning. I um, think I, I think, have, I think I, that I think everyone I else has a chance. I think I have to question get, when I want to question. Uh, but this I is think you need to ask forum. for the chair and everybody else has a chance. Maybe if you did your homework, I'm sure Mr. Gerson would have appreciated a call, was available probably all weekend to ask these questions. Mrs. Finney, I get now this package I, I on would Friday take, night and I work on Monday. How am I order, going to do? Mr. DeJohn. Can I have a roll call, please? Mr. Mano? No. Mr. Balistrio? Yes. Mr. DeJohn? No. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Teresi? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Resolution 2018 13 has passed. Next is Resolution 2018 14, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Resolution 2018 14, a resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with All Ohio Cremation and Burial Society, Inc., providing for burial or cremation services for indigent residents in the city of Mayfield Heights and declaring an emergency. First Thank reading. you, Mr. Murphy. Is there a motion to suspend the rules? Moved by Mrs. Snyder. Second. Seconded by Mr. Balistrea. Roll call on the motion to suspend. Mr. DeJohn? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mrs. Teresi? Yes. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Is there a motion to approve? Move. Moved by Mrs. Snyder, seconded by Mr. Um, Mr. Balistria. I'm sorry. Any discussion? I think we've had a lot of meetings on this. Um, We've added on the table as Ordinance 2017-12, which we will look at later to remove. So, anything else to further to add to this? Yes, Mrs. Finney, can I have the floor, please? Sure, Mr. DeJohn. Thank you. Um, I guess my only question to this is, uh, who's going to be determining 
uh, the residents if they are a resident of the city and if they're indigent, who would that be? That would be somebody appointed, either the mayor or somebody appointed by the mayor. Okay, so that won't be you, huh? Uh, it could be me. And just for the council's uh, uh, knowledge, most cities use their law director to administer this program and do the research. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. DeJohn. Any further discussion? Is it Sabata? I'm looking for the term. Pardon me? Is, how long is this going to be that we're, I don't see it. That oh, I thought it was indefinitely. Is it? Yes. Okay. Unless we come back and review it. As long You'd as they'll do it for $500, it's, it, it doesn't have a termination. I could put a termination into the, uh, the agreement if council would uh, like to, but. Uh, it says not when, to exceed. Okay, okay, I was just gonna ask, that was my next question. You've just answered it. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? Okay, roll call please, Lisa. This is Teresi. Yes. This is Sabetta. Yes. This is Snyder. Yes. Mr. Mano. Yes. Mr. Dijon. Yes. Mr. Bellastria. Yes. Mrs. Finney. Yes. Resolution 2018-14 stands approved. Next is Resolution 2018-15, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. <clears throat> resolution 2018-15, a resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with Malamed Communications, LLC, to provide professional consulting and communication services in connection with community education and declaring an emergency. First reading. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Is there a motion to suspend rules? Moved. Moved by Mr. Balestria, seconded by Mrs. Sabetta. Roll call on the motion to suspend. Mr. Balestria? Yes. Mrs. Tressy? No. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mr. DeJohn? No. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Mano? No. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Resolution 2018-15 will be on first reading. Okay, before we recess the executive session, I would like to make a motion to deviate from the agenda and vote on the motion 11-A, so as courtesy to the um, applicant if they're here. So do I have a um, motion to deviate and move motion 11-A to this part of the agenda? Move. Moved by Mrs. Snyder. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Balestria. Roll call, please. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. DeJohn? Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mr. Bellastria? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Tressy? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Mr. Murphy? Thank you, Matt. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you, Madam Chairman. It's a motion to confirm the decision of the Planning Commission approving a preliminary site plan for an addition for Muska Properties, LLC, at 6262 Mayfield Road. Thank you. Do I have a motion to approve? Moved by Mrs. Snyder. Second. Seconded by Mr. Balestria. Is there any um, discussion? Mrs. Uh, Teresi? Thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, I'm just wondering, I, I know they're gonna do this addition and a renovation to that property. Um, sounds like a great idea since I live on Fruitland and the parking lot is a mess. The back of the parking lot is a mess. There are trucks or cars packed back there. There's been a scooter parked back there. I'm just wondering if they're going to do anything else. Um, they Right now they have an orange fence. Half of it is up, half of it's down. I'm just wondering, um, are they going to put up a building and then leave the old decrepit uh, asphalt in the front and back of this property or are they going to really fix the property? Mayor? He's smirking. <laughs> I love your choice of adjectives. They're so descriptive. I, um, I mean, take there a look is, at it. I, I'm going to answer the question. Um, this is just the preliminary. They plan on redoing the uh, pavement. That was talked about at planning. Uh, Mr. Balestria can, uh, can confirm that. Um, uh, the new facade to the building also and um, we talked uh, 
about really adding some um, uh, features from the design manual um, such as green space and, and ways to dress up the property much more than it is right now so that was discussed um, and the applicant agreed uh, so in the next um, version of the plan we should see a lot more of that thank you mayor that'll be nice anything further mr Ma madam president mr dejan mr balistria uh, do they have plans to enclose their dumpster uh, their dumpster has been seen uh, by the step down wall right against the uh, driveway and the house that's to the west of that property uh, do they have plan plans to put a dumpster enclosure in there in masonry Mr. Balistria. Uh, Mr. John, it wasn't discussed at Planning Commission in the, in the preliminary plan, uh, but we can take that back to the applicant, make sure that it, it, it is part of the, of the plan as well as it should be. Uh, as the mayor indicated, there was a lot of discussion with, with greening up the property, actually, uh, actually calling for maybe even a park bench or something uh, out near Mayfield Road. Uh, I wish we had the, uh, the applicant here. Oh, he is. Mrs. Finney, is it okay if Mr. Mr. Muska, do you have the... That's the architect. Just the architect? The architect. Um, sorry. Um, it was nice to have the conceptual, this conceptual drawing that showed the facade. Um, it, was, it was a really nice feature for, the, for that whole uh, development, as well as greening it up both front and back, and, and possibly even trying to, to uh, consolidate some of the parking a little bit so we can add a little bit more green space that lot I think it'd be very pleased with what the Planning Commission discussed as well as how uh, amenable uh, the applicant was to improving that whole uh, property thank you mr. Bill Stream. any further questions seeing none I think we'll have a roll call please Lisa mrs. Sabetta yes mr. Mano yes mr. Bill Estria? yes mrs. Teresi yes mrs. Snyder Yes. Mr. DeJohn? Yes. This is Finney. Yes. Okay, the motion has passed, and now I, I'd like to ask for a motion to adjourn to executive session. So moved. Moved by Mrs. Sabetta. Second. Seconded by Mr. Balistrier. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We need, a, we need a roll call, please. Oh, we do? Um, okay, roll call, please. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mr. Balistrier? Yes. Mr. DeJohn? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Teresi? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Um, everybody in the audience will be back hopefully shortly. Thank you.